The name's Bond. James Bond. Dad, what are you doing? It's money. Pennies. No, it's money. Penny. A person. Ah. Oh. Seems I've been shaken, not stirred. Hello and welcome back to A4N. The kid. And today we're going to review a deep. Where is it? I don't know. Where did you put it? <laughs> we kind of need the set. We're going to have to try and do the clap thing. Okay. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Mm. Okay, well, that seemed to work. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Um, this is the latest little DB5 James Bond vehicle from Lego. They have done one of these once before. A yeah. bigger creator set. Sort of successful. Kind of. What was good about it? Action features. Action features. What was bad about it? The curves on the sides. Didn't look curvy enough, did it? But you can check out our review. We'll put a link in the description yes. and you can click on uh, one of the boxes afterwards. But just search through our channel and you'll find that. But we're here today to talk about the smaller Speed Champions version they've just done for 2022. Which is brilliant. It's pretty decent, isn't it? Nice, nice little vehicle, nice scale, nice size. Just looks pretty perfect. It does. It does. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are zoomed in on the DB5, the latest Speed Champions car for 2022 from Lego. And it comes with a James Bond figure. Do you know which James Bond figure it is, kid? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig from the latest James Bond films. Let's get him on screen so you guys can have a look. And we'll get him focused. So there he is. Printing's not too bad. The shirt is not as opaque as it could be not overly um convinced by the face to be honest it doesn't look very daniel craigie to me the hair piece is okay but i guess at least you know that it's james bond so that's fine it's nice that it comes with a minifig i'm going to pass over to the kid now to talk you through the rest of the features of this db5 just very quickly from my point of view it looks fantastic it looks better in this scale than the larger one did even though the front edge is still really straight which was the issue with the with the bigger creator version i think it's it, it just sort of works a little bit better at this scale and doesn't show up so much um, so i just think they've done a really really stellar job with this it's a nice little display piece um, there's a few stickers on there that are a bit awkward um, any stickers that are on curves are prints but um, I don't quite understand why some of the others couldn't have been sticker um, prints other than stickers. Down here, for example, we've got a really long sticker, whereas it could have just been a small clear-backed one. So a few issues over the stickers there. The only other thing I'm not so convinced about is these studs on the top of the car. I think they could just could have been flat tiles. But I guess at least it sort of shouts Lego at you. Other than that, it's a pretty special vehicle. So I think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a must-buy for, for the £20 that it retails at over here in the UK. Over to you, kid. So this James Bond car comes with a bunch of number plates, a spanner in case James Bond ever needs to fix his car, which he probably will. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess they just can't include pistols and guns and things because of a little, well, although they do for Star Wars or because they're not real, they're fantasy, but I guess that's kind of their way of, uh, I think every Speed Champions car comes with a spanner, so I just think it's, it's more to do with that. But yeah, it comes with a spanner, I guess it's useful. I'm pretty sure you can take the roof off. Yep. Yeah, and that's, that's one piece, nice canopy piece on the back there, and the grey and the silver is printed. You can take the windscreen off as well. Oh, look, it's a convertible. Kind of looks good like that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't steer, does it? No. I mean, how could you expect it to at this scale? Exactly. It's a Speed Champions car, and they don't yes. steer, so we'll, we'll let that one we'll let that one slide. What about the interior? It's actually a very, quite detailed interior. You've got two seats. You've got... A steering wheel you've got a microphone as like the gear stick here works well which is yeah and you've got a little i think that's a sticker yep um on the tile here to just represent an air then some of the, the yep. gadgets and things that are in there so nicely represented nice the seats do they move at all forwards um, or back they do they've got a little bit of adjustment there and a little bit of space in the back too so you yep, could maybe can put Put the another plates in there. figure in there yeah we were putting the number plates in there so they didn't get lost all the number plates are stickers so they're a little bit fiddly but otherwise yes. um how does it look from the back um the back looks pretty good it's got a few lights and obviously your number plates i think it's nice yeah looks good looks finished off and the front 
The front looks good, classic. And the lights nice are all lights. printed on there. Yep. The grill piece is printed as yep, well. That's cool. It is printed on on a couple of different pieces, so you do get that grey line through the middle, which isn't ideal, but I'd still rather that was printed like it is than stickers. So we'll, we'll take that. And the silver looks good too. Okay, so we've zoomed back out now and put the vehicle back together. Um, mm -hmm. Overall, nice, solid, enjoyable, quick build. Yep. I think really, so. yeah, really nice I display really model. I enjoyed building this. Oh, yeah, I know you did. Um, good for play. I think it's just the same as all the yeah, other speed champions. Just as good as it if can you be like speed play. champions vehicles, or or if they do fit into your city because you scaled it in the same way, then then it's great. It goes yep. forwards and backwards nicely. You know instantly what it is. It looks great. It's a good price, I think, at twenty pounds. It retails for here. Lovely to get a James Bond minifig, even though I don't think he's the best. It's still great to get him and you can sit him in there. So, yeah, nice little display piece, nice little play piece all around. More of these Lego, please. Yes. Thanks ever so much. Um, do hit the subscribe button please, if you like yeah. what we're doing so that we can bring you more content. And uh, hit the bell button for notifications of yep. our, our latest videos. And we will see you again soon for more news, reviews and general chat about Lego. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.